Hello everyone, this is Hendrik Kleiner. I'm a principal consultant at Raynet. Today I give you a feature overview of our next-gen software packaging solution, Raypack. We just released Raypack version 1.4. We are excited to present you new features and extensions. Raypack focuses on an easy-to-use and easy-to-understand graphical user interface. It launches a highly functional home screen containing a tile-based dashboard that offers quick access points to key functions and a user-specific history of recent active packaging projects. In this example, we will take a quick look at the pack designer to give you a first impression of the convenient user interface. Therefore, I am using the recent section to open my last.msi file, which is obviously Raypack. Starting with the project overview, Raypack will provide you all the basic information of your current project. You can see right away what the content of your package is. The project overview is fully functional. You can start by clicking on any section to start processing your package right away. Let's take the application section as an example. By using the integrated functionality, Raypack makes it really simple to manipulate the application. It gives you a graphical preview of the change settings and add remove programs on your Windows system. And yes, it's that simple. If we take a look at files and folders, the basic function that this view will provide you is to create, import, delete or rename files and folders. You can add a release note to your installation if you like to. Another feature is the pack point. Ongoing resource management is one of the key requirements for sustainable and efficient packaging factory maintenance. Therefore, Raypack has been extended with the pack point unit, which is used as a dedicated location for persistent configuration and customization definitions. The pack point provides support for centralized and independent adjustments to the functional core of Raypack. No matter if a packaging team is spread all over the world or located in a local office, with PackPoint, all shared resources are well structured and administrated easily. Think of an XML based profile for all your employees to always run the same configuration when it comes to packaging. Raypack in version 1.4 is capable of building all common formats when it comes to packaging. Files can be built as an MSI, and various virtual packages such as Microsoft AppV, Symantec Workspace Virtualization Package, and FinApp. Let's go ahead by building a Microsoft AppV package. You simply choose the option Build and Microsoft AppV version 4.6, and Raypack will generate your virtual package that now can be used to virtualize your application. Raypack, with its virtualization package, does not require additional software to build the package in the AppV format. But for ThinApp and Symantec Workspace Virtualization Package, additional third-party software is required. For packaging virtualization, you can choose between various build options, which I will present you later in this video. Package signing is capable of signing any MSI generated by or edited with Raypack. Utilizing industry standard technology for package signing guarantees both minimal effort for achieving an authorized software portfolio and maximal security for the valuable infrastructure assets. In order to make sure that any device within an environment is managed and fully under control, many security guidelines for IT infrastructure demand that only signed applications are deployed to end-user devices. Raypack achieves this by implementing a digital certificate to the build process and therefore authorize the package to be deployed in the target environment. The profile-based exclusion lists for clean and optimized system snapshots have always been integrated part of Raypack's core feature set. They become even handier with the new option to adjust their items directly from the RCP editor interface. Cleaning an explicit capture project content and maintaining the exclusion lists have been molded into one step, improving two main aspects of working with Raypack at the same time, usability and efficiency. Let's take Fazilla as an example here. We create a new project to capture a legacy setup. You add your application name and the path to the main installer. 
and by clicking next you will be guided through the wizard. You select your exclusion list. Our recent created standard exclusion can now be selected. By clicking next you simply run the standard capturing procedure to create the application in the desired target format. Let's cancel the wizard for now. The packet recorder in action is featured in another video on this channel. Please make sure to check it out. Coming up next is a new extension that is called the Runtime Operations Registry. The MSI standard with its broad set of default tables and columns covers a lot of basic functionality required for the control of installer routines. However, removing keys and values from a specific registry hive during an uninstallation procedure is quite a common task, but nonetheless needs a havoc of custom actions and direct table content fumbling with most packaging frameworks. Well, take a deep breath and relax. These days are over for the community of Raypack users. The same clear methods already known from the runtime operations on files and folders have been extended to cover registry objects as well, allowing users to click their way through tailor-made installer routines. Coming back to our dear friend, the virtual package. We have been able to improve configuration options for AppV and FinApp. Former releases of Raypack introduced support for basic AppV package generation. Version 1.4 extends it to an expert level. The build option dialog now also contains settings for FinApp packages. To take a deeper dive here, please make sure to check out our featured videos to see the advantages of our new build options for virtualization packages. Get your free Raypack test license today or register for a free live webinar at www.raypack.net. We are looking forward to package with you.